Dr. Mary Summerberg Parker Strangman was a doctor, suffragist, and elected counselor. Born in Waterford in 1872, Strangman was the sixth of seven children to Thomas Hancock Strangman and Sarah White, Nee Hawks. Mary was educated at home with her brothers and sisters until 1891, when she and her sister Lucia enrolled at RCSI. They received their licenses in 1896. After training and lecturing in Britain, Mary Strangman became the second woman to earn the fellowship of RCSI in 1902. In 1903, Strangman set up practice in Waterford and worked in a voluntary capacity with local female charities. She also engaged in trial work in the treatment of alcoholism and morphine addiction and published articles on the subject, Morphinomania Treated Successfully with Atropine and Strychnine. In 1908, she co-founded the Waterford branch of the Women's National Health Association of Ireland. Established with government support the previous year, the association's aim was to mobilize the women of Ireland in a nationwide health promotion campaign. Tuberculosis, the country's principal killer disease, was the main target. In Waterford, the WNHA's limitations were soon evident. Women's voluntary efforts could not compensate for the negligence of Waterford Corporation, which, in common with most sanitary authorities in Ireland, shirked its responsibility for public health. In 1910, Mary was attached briefly to the Irish Women's Franchise League, she established a branch of its more moderate offshoot, the Munster Women's Franchise League, in Waterford, and was on the executive committee of the Irish Women's Suffrage Federation from 1911 to 1917. Late in 1911, when women became eligible for election to county borough councils, the Waterford WNHA adopted a new strategy. Mary Strangman stood for election, becoming Waterford's first woman councillor on the 15th of January, 1912. Like most early Irish women doctors, Mary Strangman was a member of the Irish Women's Suffrage and Local Government Association. Having proved themselves the equals of their male counterparts, medical women were acutely aware of the injustice of their unenfranchised status. In addition, their work experience convinced them that women's suffrage was an, an essential tool for social reform. At a time when the national question was the primary concern of most local representatives, she highlighted public health issues, especially housing and tuberculosis. Her position was complicated by her connections with the suffrage movement and by her resulting hostility towards John Redmond, MP for Waterford, leader of the Irish Parliamentary Party and an anti-suffragist. Faced with the welfare problems resulting from the 1914 to 1918 war, she played a leading role in uniting local voluntary organizations. She retired from public office in 1920. In 1923, she was appointed physician at Waterford County and City Infirmary and also continued in general practice until shortly before her death at her sister's house in Dunleary on the 30th of January, 1943. In a career that combined service with independence, Mary Strangman put into practice a philosophy of constitutional feminism that emphasized both the rights and the duties of citizenship. Dr. Strangman's portrait was painted by Irish artist Mick O'Dean. 